again, you know. It was good. Healthy competition. Exactly. Luke looks like it could be a little bit tricky, a little bit slick. Switching stance. Yeah, I wasn't sure at the start if he was a southpaw or an orthodox. A couple of really good heavy low kicks from Gary and a couple of nice body kicks. It's good to see he still has the old speed and power. Luke happy to sit back on the ropes and, and play the game a little bit. Just catches him with that left hook. Yeah, clean left hook on the chin. He actually just laid back a bit to avoid the right hand, and yeah. as he came back in, he ate that left hook on the spot. Looks like he's recovered, though. Flash knockdown. Might be the little welcome back shot that Gary needs to get the engine running again. There's something that the young people generally don't have is that toughness, but the us older guys, we learn it in time. Usually the driving force. 100% Pinky, I don't think ma many of the youth today could put him away as much food as I have in the last five hours. So. <laughs> oh! Swapping hands and elbows. Big left hook there from Gary. really trying to get that knockdown back this round. Good little knee by Luke in the boot, but just not really getting a good balanced position in the clinch there. Gary's still very composed, happy to sit there in range. Straight, leading off a straight right, spinning elbow. <laughs> Gary's got a very strong stance in the clinch. Knows how to adjust his feet to make sure he doesn't fall. And uh, a little bit of a jump and grab over there from Luke. Yeah, that unorthodox stuff is hard to read, right? Yeah, but look, good, good uh, counter low kick there by Gary. He changes his stance again, lands that body kick as Luke tries to lay back from it. Lovely left kick to the body from Luke. There's that left hook clean that time. It's two in a row. Gary landing some heavy shots there. Yeah, wobbled him a little bit on that first one and then just followed up with the second and then the end of the first round. Very exciting first round. Joe, uh, Luke set a pretty hectic pace that first round and I wonder if the strategy is to test out Gary's, Gary's ring right, rust and yeah. fitness. Yeah, I think the um, Gary almost pulled that round back at the end as well. He's, he's show you know that, that you can't you can't get past that toughness really though. Like it, it's a hard thing to fight. And if you'd seen uh, Gary fight around Australia a few years back, but he was quite active. Man, the the guy was never in a boring fight. And I always <laughs> remember when he fought Cam Webb uh, in Rebellion in Sydney and left an almost perfect footprint. <laughs> on Cam Webb's body. We had a photo of it and we're like, <laughs> it looked like it'd been branded. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, both boys ready for the second round. Uh, let's see what the corner crews have told their, their young charges. I think Gary's going to keep going for that left hook. It keeps landing over and over and over again. Beautiful left body kick by Gary. Throws that right hand stab to the body. Gets a, it's a tip to the face for his uh, troubles. Some nice trading of hands there. I think Gary got the best of that little exchange. 
love to know how many uh, pro fights Luke's at. He's, he's doing great for yeah, someone I haven't really eye. seen him. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've watched him through um, Instagram, watch him through, their po through the gym's post, Double Dragon's post. He, yeah, definitely, he, he's literally tr hitting in the ring exactly how he trains. Watch him on pads, switch hitting, everything. Got some nice solid hands on him. And he started to mark up Gary's right side of his body with those uh, left kick attacks. And obviously, if you like seeing kick wars, you love seeing Southpaw versus Orthodox. Oh, nothing better. <laughs> Just tee off on each other, boys. You just saw there Gary landing straight up the centre. Quicker, quickest shot, way to the target, just straight up the centre. It's a tip to the face and just smiles it up. It's like, here we go. That was the interesting. Pinky special. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pinky. <laughs> Worked out better for Luke than it did for Nabil last night on <laughs> oh, RWS. Yeah. It's good when it lands, but it's a disaster when it, <laughs> when it does, exactly. <laughs> Everyone knows that I'm not a fan of the spin and stuff. <laughs> Neither the boy really scared of the other guy's power, but both of them making power at the same time. Yeah, once they get into that those punching exchanges, it, it, the sort of defense kind of becomes secondary and they're both happy to throw down and test their luck out and see who gets the bickies. Yeah, who's got the, who's got the stronger chin? Lovely right low kick just on the inside there by Gary. Just setting it up, I think, just to try to discourage that lean back when he goes for the body. Did look like you got a little bit rattled there, Gary. Mm. Still doing good in the clinch. But Wrestling you're right, around. that little uh, direct right knee that he brings up, it's a beautiful thing, eh? Another good, exciting round. It's been a hectic start to the first uh, three bouts of the evening. Got a big card tonight. Very exciting. Thailand's pin-up boy as the uh, as the referee referee here, Singh Piak. I uh, caught up with Singh a bit earlier today, and I asked him, being at the Portuguese club, when he's going to set up the Thai club of New South Wales, and he thought that was a great idea. Uh. I'm guessing there'll be a lot of whiskey and a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> hopefully a lot of more <laughs> and hopefully a lot of more time. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Third Secondary. and final round of this uh, three-round battle: Gary Patterson versus Luke. Gary called on the crowd before the start of the final round. Looks like Gary's just happy to be back in there. Yeah, and I hope he's. Um, you know, this is the first one back of many more, and uh, we get to see him regularly next year. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's get rid of that rust in this one, and then come back and use this as almost like a warm-up for next year. Yeah. I do like when my guys have their first fights at the end of the year before, then they've got like two or three months before the next fight. Gives them a chance to think about what they've done. It's been a busy year for you guys this year. Pinky. Yeah, I think we're up to 41 fights after tonight, so got nothing until Muay Thai Vic. Uh, I'll be nominating half my gym. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got 12 or something to nominate for it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, including my five-year-old son and my nine-year-old daughter. <laughs> Luke just jumping in with that knee, not really bothering Gary, but he's starting to assert his uh, fitness a little bit in this third round. Luke just pushing the tempo a little bit. A left hook into a spinning elbow from Gary, just hoping to capitalize. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely the fitness is the telling factor. Second round, it started showing up a little. Luke's cut. Big right hand there from Gary, which landed, but Luke sort of brushed it off. He's definitely um, got a lot of intent behind his uh, punches. He's just eating a few too many scoring shots to land that big counter. Yeah, definitely wearing the damage to get the job done. Probably a little bit too much damage, slowing him down. A good tie style, and if you're down and with one round to go, go hard in the final round. Walk through everything and hope for the best. Beautiful body kick there. Big left elbow from Gary. Luke's just content, dancing around the outside, picking off, picking off shots. Yeah, and I think he feels like he's uh, maybe got, got up on this fight already. Not really trying to risk it as much as he did before. Yeah. It does look like he could have a bit of an MMA style look with his footwork and stuff. Great work, guys. Welcome back, Gary, and uh, great job there, Luke, taking on a much more experienced opponent. Good to see tonight all the guys fighting have a really good uh, support throughout the room. And the way this uh, Portuguese club arena is set up, <coughs> the cheering really echoes throughout the room. Great yeah. atmosphere. When I walked in earlier, I said something pretty loud and echoed. And I was like, tonight it's going to be a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting on the decision to be finalized and announced. contest 27-30 to your winner by unanimous decision to the blue 